Hi, this is Guy. There are a lot of different kinds of cockroaches in the world, and it is important to know which one you are dealing with. In fact, there are around 4,000 different species of cockroaches in the world. So today, I want to talk a little bit about just the main ones that tend to be a pest for most people. Let me stop you right there. The truth is that everybody hates cockroaches and all we want is for them to be gone. So what possible difference could it make which species you have? Well, it really makes a big difference because different species get treated, well, differently. Some species only live outside and will not survive well indoors, while other species only live inside and they will never live outside. Some species have the ability to live inside and outside, and those guys will almost always infest your home by entering from the outside. Species that do not live outside will only infest your home if you or somebody else carries them in. Some species are very easy to treat, while other species are extremely difficult to treat. So, the specific species you are dealing with is extraordinarily important because if you treat the wrong species, you will not achieve the results that you desire. This will result in a waste of time and money. If you want to get rid of those cockroaches once and for all, then it is imperative that you know which species you are going after so that you can beat them at their own game. Now that we have that in mind, let's go over some of the most common species. Wait a minute. Before you get to that, I have a quick question for you. How many cockroaches does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. How many cockroaches does it take to change a light bulb? You can't tell. As soon as you turn on the light, they all scatter. Seriously? I can't believe he just said that. You know, I may just need to rethink my whole relationship with him. The first thing you should know about identifying specific species is that you should always identify the adults. You always know the adults because they have wings. This is important because the baby roaches or nymphs may look somewhat different than the adults. Keeping that in mind, the first species I want to cover is probably the most difficult to get rid of. Of course, I'm talking about German cockroaches. These guys are an inside roach, or what we often refer to as a domestic roach because they do not live outside. These guys only live inside buildings. Therefore, you cannot become infested with this species unless they are carried into your home by either you or somebody else. After they get into your home, they are extraordinarily difficult to eliminate. These guys are easily identified by the two stripes that run down the back of their body just behind the head. Please note that the nymphs look somewhat different than the adults, but they still have that telltale two lines running down the back of their body. The next species I want to talk about look almost exactly like German cockroaches, but they do not infest buildings because they are an outside roach. I'm talking about Asian roaches. They look very similar to German roaches, and people often mistake one for the other. Take a close look at this photo and be honest. Can you identify the German cockroach from the Asian cockroach? Let me tell you, I think most professionals would not be able to tell the difference just by looking at the photo. Baloney. I'm a professional and I can tell right off that the one on the right is the Asian cockroach. How about it folks? 
Do you agree with the little shelf guy? Is the one on the right really the Asian cockroach? If you said no, then you are correct. The one on the left is actually the Asian cockroach. Don't feel bad if you got it wrong. The truth is that even I would not be able to identify them just by this photo. This is not a problem though, because there is an easy way to tell them apart. All you need to do is turn them over. The Asian cockroaches have wings that extend just a little past their body, which gives them the ability to fly. The German cockroaches have shorter wings that do not extend past the body, and so they do not have the ability to fly. Unlike German cockroaches that can be found everywhere in the world, except Antarctica, Asian cockroaches prefer more tropical climates. They can be found in different places around the world, and here in the United States, you can usually find them in southern states and California. While they do not infest buildings, they are attracted to lights, so you may find them flying through an open door or window. They also have been known to fly around street lights in large numbers. Probably the second most common cockroach I hear about are American cockroaches. A lot of folks like to call them palmetto bugs. I guess it sounds better than saying that you have cockroaches. Hey guy, who should you call if you have an American cockroach infestation? I don't know. Who should you call if you have an American cockroach infestation? You need to call Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's retired now. And that makes him an exterminator. Please, little shelf guy, for the love of God, knock it off with the corny jokes. I'm trying to be serious here. I'm sorry, folks. Little shelf guy made me lose my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, American cockroaches. These guys are considered to be an outside roach but they do have the ability to infest buildings. Most of the time though, they do not survive well indoors. More often than not, you don't even need to treat the inside of your home. However, if you don't want them constantly coming inside, then you do need to treat the outside of your home because they will come in to escape undesirable weather conditions outside. These guys are easily identified because they are a very large brownish colored roach with fully developed wings. They can be as long as two inches. Please note the two marks on the head. A lot of people confuse American cockroaches with Oriental cockroaches. I suppose that's because they are both large and they will often hang out in your drains. Oriental roaches can be an inch long, so they are a bit smaller than American cockroaches. Of the two, Oriental cockroaches are more likely to find your drains than American cockroaches because these guys really like water. That is why they are often called water bugs. If you look at them though, you can see that they are quite different than American cockroaches. Oftentimes, they are black or almost black, but they can be more of a brownish color as well. A dead giveaway though, is that their wings are not fully developed, so they are not capable of flight. Finally, let's talk about brown banded cockroaches. This is another species that can sometimes be mistaken for American cockroaches. I often get people who tell me that they have an infestation of American roaches, but they are actually brown banded roaches. As you can see from this photo, the male looks quite a bit like an American cockroach. The only thing is though, that the brown banded roaches are much smaller than the American roaches. 
brown banded roaches are usually no longer than 5 eighths of an inch. Just like German roaches, brown banded roaches are a domestic roach and are usually only found inside buildings. Unlike German roaches though, usually you do not see them in wet areas like the kitchen and bathrooms. They prefer warm, dry areas of your home. So it is very common to see them in the bedrooms and oftentimes near the ceiling. Hey guy, did I tell you that a giant six foot brown banded cockroach knocked on the door the other day? When I answered it, the darn thing punched me right in the face. Apparently, there's a nasty bug going around. Okay, that's it. I can't take it anymore. I know that some of you want to talk about Turkestan roaches or maybe wood roaches, but little shelf guy is driving me crazy. I think I may need a stiff drink after this. Besides, did you know that there are 12 species of wood roaches alone? There are so many species of roaches in the world that it would take forever for me to discuss them all. So if you think you have a species that I have not discussed here, then please let me know in the comments and I will try to assist you with that. Be well, my friends. And thank you so much for watching. I think I may even need a stiff, what was it? I need a stiff something. Line. Ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>